Rakatalaba, Maya Kaya de Rebe, Rian de Catala, Lamando Koya Hase, Rala Labada, Ricatala, Lamando Kotaya, Maya Catala Laba, Ria Tekelebe, Mando Kotala, Mante Catala, Limande Kaya Hasia Catala Laba, Rala Laba, Maya de Maharia Catala Laba, Maya de Catala, Maria Catala Laba, Mante Kaya. Oh, Shalaria Kataya Mahasem. Oh, my God. Open your heart and just speak to God, heart to heart. Father, I thank you. Oh Lord, hear the cry of my heart. Is this the cry of your heart? I don't know what you've been through. I don't know what you're going through right now. But this can be the cry in your heart. encountering his people but the condition of your heart can invite God
panted for the water of roots. My soul longed for you, O oh God. When will I come and appear before you? Amai katala la mande kai aharia katala la mande kai ahase. Hey, shala da mandi e katala la mande kai ahase. for Jesus. everything before you. We say, Arise, O God. May your name be exalted above the nations of the earth. It is in your presence where we are healed. It is in your presence where we are delivered. Lord, we thank you this day. In the name of Jesus Christ, we honor you, Lord. And we honor your name. We thank you, Lord, this day. We honor you, Lord, this day. Give you all honor and praise. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Wealthy greetings to everyone in this place in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Can I hear you celebrate God in the presence of the Lord? I said we are celebrating God. Can we stand on our feet and lift the name of the Lord on high? of the Lord. Sometimes you feel like you can just stay there. This is a heart-to-heart -heart song. 
can't sing it from your mind. You've got to sing it from your heart. From your heart and your meaning is. And you say, Lord, regardless of what I'm going through, go to me and get it away now. Go to me and get it away now. Go to me now. Hey! God. Allow me to greet and welcome everyone in this place in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Can I have a better amen in the house? Yeah. You can do better than that. Can I hear somebody celebrate God? Can I hear men with you? Can I hear, can I hear salads? Can I hear, can I hear women? Yulilech? Can I hear, we are celebrating our God. Hey! Welcome all those who are watching us online in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We say welcome to the service wherever you are in the UK, uh, in Qatar, in, in Iraq, in Iran, in Kuwait, in Zaire. We welcome you from Cameroon in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as this hour in Zambia. Welcome into the presence of the Lord today in the name of Jesus Christ. Spain, we welcome you in the name of Jesus Christ. Woo! Amen. God is wonderful. Guys, uh, if you don't live here, we'll keep on singing. So please. Uh, we can we can sing forever in this house. opportunity to greet everyone, to greet all our ministers, our pastors, in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Please let's put our hands together and celebrate our mother, Pastor Joanna, she's in the house. In the name of Jesus Christ, we celebrate God. Uh, listen, there's this song in my spirit. Run of Amban Mamwe
I'm about to preach. chapter 12 verse 11 and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and they loved not their lives unto death father we thank you for the reading of the word this afternoon we are praying overshadow us with the glory of your presence overshadow us lord with the revelation of your word overshadow us, Lord, with the prophetic word today in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm speaking today on a theme, a testimony is a winning strategy. Hallelujah. Welcome to October 2024. This is our winning month. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. And by the word of their testimony, underline the word of their testimony. Hallelujah. I welcome all of you today to our winning month in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This is our month to say something about what the Lord has done in our lives. Hallelujah. The, the enemy is terrified when we stand up with the strategy of our testimony. Your testimony is your sermon. Your testimony, hallelujah. Other things the enemy may say, this cannot happen. This will not happen. But your testimony is, an, is evidence of what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. Can I have a better amen in the church? The devil has a tendency of telling you that your testimony is, not, is too small to be said. Can I say to you this afternoon, there is no small testimony. If God had to intervene for this to happen, it means it's big. Whatever it is, it means it's big. If God has, yet, has to intervene in the situation, don't allow the devil telling you that your testimony is a small thing. Do you hear what I'm saying? Hallelujah. 
If God has to intervene, it means it's big. Because God does not do small things. Hallelujah. If your testimony is only your salvation, stand up every day and say, I thank God for he took me from the Marie clay. And he caused me to stand on a rock. Hallelujah. Keep on testifying about that testimony. Hallelujah. Because salvation is a massive thing. How many of you know about that? Yeah. So don't just sit down and say, I have no testimony. I have nothing to say. No, you have a testimony. Because for you to overcome, you will not overcome through my testimony. The Bible says, by the word of their testimonies. So without a testimony, you have no victory. Give your neighbor a high five. Hallelujah. Every time you stand to testify, the kingdom of darkness is shaken. Every time you stand to testify, you create cracks in hell. Allah my Because you are already announcing your victory. Not the previous one, but for the one that is coming. Ah, my God. Many people are silenced. Because it is the power of your word that works. So stand up if every day your testimony is by salon. Hallelujah. I, uh, I was sick, but the Lord healed me. Say that testimony until another one comes. The church today has been, what can I say? The power of the church has been diluted because we listen to what other people say and we listen to what the devil say. If my testimony, if I have one testimony, I'll say it a thousand times more because I overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the testimony of my mouth. Check with your neighbor and say, what is your testimony? Which one? Which one is your testimony? On the 20th of this month, we we'll have a combined service where everyone will testify. It's going to be a testimony service. Everyone will testify. Check with your neighbor and say, I can't wait to hear your testimony. I'm already excited. You will testify because your victory depends on you. They overcame by that testimony. You know why you, have, you, you are always defeated? You are always sorry? You are always miserable? It's because you keep the testimonies in your heart. That testimony must be spoken. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor and say, I'm starting today to testify. Hallelujah. I'm starting today to testify. Hallelujah. Every time you, you are silent, you are actually announcing your failure in the next move of your life. So don't be silenced. Hallelujah. If the Lord has done something for you, keep saying it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep saying it until the next one comes. Your testimony makes room for you. And it will cause you to enter doors you'll never hear entered if it wasn't for your testimony. Case study, 1 Samuel 17, 33 to 37. Hallelujah. Be quick. I, 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 I have a lot to say. So I have got to say it in the, in, in the next few minutes. Hallelujah. Say to your neighbor, I have a testimony. Sometimes even if you don't have your testimony, you just say, you stand up and say, uh, beloved, I thank, I thank God that I'm at World Trade International. The devil, the devil is terrified. First Samuel chapter 17 from verse 33. Yes, uh, and, yeah, verse 33. And Saul said to David, yes. Thou art not able to go against this Philistine yes. to fight with him. Yes. For thou art but a, a youth. Yes. And he a man of war yes. from his youth. Hallelujah. Do you hear this statement? It was a conversation uh, between uh, David and the king. David arrives here and the whole army, the whole army of Saul, they are shivering because of Goliath. The Bible says when Goliath will stand out, men will go into their caves. But David gets to this place. And you see all men
men shivering because of, 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 of Goliath. And he says, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Sometimes when you are in a situation, you are supposed to speak to it in spiritual terms. You are supposed to be able to locate your, your situation, hallelujah, in the dimension and the realm of the immortals. He says, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? He goes to his brother. His brothers, the brothers, they had their own way of thinking and talking until he gets to the king. And then he says to the king, what will be given to a man? He doesn't say to a boy. It depends how you see yourself. I might look like a boy in the outside, but in the inside, I am a man. In the inside, I am a man of God. He says, one shall be given to a man that will kill this uncircumcised Philistine. So the conversation comes. And then Saul realizes that, then David says to Saul, let no man's heart fail. I'm going to go and fight. What is pushing David? What is pushing him to say, I can bring down the Philistine? There's something that is pushing him. There's something that David is loaded with. Then Saul says to him, you are not able. Oh. How, how can you tell me that I'm not able? He says, you are not able. For you are just a youth. Hallelujah. You are not able to, to fight the Philistine. How many situations are challenging you today and they are telling you that you are not able and when you are actually cooperating with the situation? Uh, how many situations are telling you that when you cannot be a billionaire? How many situations are telling you that when you cannot be a woman of God? How many situations are telling you when you cannot live a holy life? But I hear David knew something that Saul didn't know. Hallelujah. I want to say to somebody that is here today, you can measure up to that challenge. You can measure up to that situation. Hallelujah. David knew something in the inside of him. Hallelujah. Yeah, I, I can hear David saying in his heart, wait until you hear my story. Wait until I pull out my testimonies. I can stand against that man. You have a CV for that man, but you don't have my CV of my secret place. You don't have my CV of my working with God. I have a testimony that other people don't know about. David realizes that the only way I can have access to this man is for me to pull out my testimony. Akata Yamaha. The only way for me to be integrated in his army is for me to say something here. I have to produce something against the enemy. Hallelujah. And David, my God, and David put his testimony in a summarized, condensed Condensed, hallelujah, story. David had to speak for two verses only, two verses only. And access was made. The problem with you when we say to you, say a testimony. I said, ah, oh, I saw a beer that was like uh, as big as this house. Ah, oh, it was white in color. You're wasting time. Just say, I killed the bear. The bear is a bear. Where the... My it's black or white. A bear is a bear. Don't waste the time. Try to describe it. The king might be angry. Allah my A one minute testimony can give you a 10 years uh, mileage in life. Read it. Let's just go those two verses. 34. 34. Verse number 34, and yeah. David said unto Saul, hey. thy servant kept his father's sheep, hey. and there came a lion hey. and a bear, hey. and took a lamp out of the flock. Yes. Verse number 35, yes. and I went out after him, ah. and smote him, yes. and delivered it out of his mouth. Yes. And when he rose against me, yes. I caught him by his beard yes. and smote him yes. and slew him. Yes. Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear. Hey. And this uncircumcised Philistine Mandariba, shall be as one of them. Hallelujah. Seeing he hath defiled the armies of the living God. Your testimony is 
key to access dimensions and realms that you could not have accessed without the testimony. Uh, David realized that he, I must say my story. Can I talk to somebody that is here? If you want to go to another level, you are supposed to talk about this level so that you are able to move to another level. David started to say in two verses, he started to say, one day I was just looking after my father's ship. It's not on internet. Mandaria Kayaha. It's not in the newspaper. It was not recorded. Hallelujah. But I was taking my father's ship, taking care of my father's ship. He summarized, hallelujah, his testimony. David used two verses to put across his greatest testimony. He, you must summarize your testimony. Make it compressed into a bullet upon bullet. A testimony must be power upon power. A testimony must be fire upon fire. Don't say and water down a lot of things until you water down your bullet. Hallelujah. He says, I was looking after my father's ship. Two verses. I saw a bed with my own hand. Hallelujah. I tore it apart. When he took one of the kids from the floor, I had to go after it. Can you imagine that? And also, I killed the bear and I killed the lion. I killed both the bear and the lion. Hallelujah. King Saul had never heard something like this. Hallelujah. He only heard about it in the days of Samson. But now he's face to face with a young man that says, I did it. In Allah, my Yakata, my God in the heavens, my Lord and my Savior. What is it? What is this doing to David? It's opening doors for him. Hallelujah. Verse 37, verse 37. I want to rush. Verse 37. Because I'll need 37. To. Yes. David said, Moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said unto David, Go, and the Lord be with thee. In three verses, the king had changed his mind. Hallelujah. Verse 33 says you can't do it. But the boy says, no, let me pull out my weapons. I killed the bear. I killed the lion. The same way, these testimonies I'm saying, they are creating a bigger one because I'm going to kill Goliath. Ay, 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 ay. The devil is in trouble this month. Hallelujah. When you say your testimony, you are creating room for another testimony to come. I said it when I was writing, uh, I think when I was introducing on what our month, I said testimonies are like bullets in a barrel of a gun. If the first bullet does not go out, the second can't. So if you don't release your testimony, you are actually hindering other testimonies to come. And when I think that I'm accumulating them, the, no, it doesn't work like that. You stand up and say, King, I killed the lion. I killed the bear. And I'm going to another level of another testimony. When he killed the lion, no one sang for him. When he killed the bear, no one sang for him. But when he killed the Goliath, there was a song. I don't hear what I'm talking about. For you to be celebrated, you need to begin to celebrate your own testimonies. Abaya. Your testimony is a door opener. It is a breakthrough connector. That's verse 37. Hallelujah. Your testimony will set platforms for you. Your testimony will create for you more, bigger, and uncommon testimonies. The killing of the bear led to the killing of the lion. And the killing of a lion led to the killing of Goliath. Many testimonies are coming your way gradually. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, David was a, a prophetic man. Everyone who is a testimony teller is a prophetic person. The problem with many people, you don't understand that things are created, they don't just happen. When you want to create your next level of a testimony, you, you use the one that you have. You use the material that you have. No, so David was prophetic in everything that he did. Listen to this, listen to this. Because of his testimony, verse 38 don't even worry, we are on time. Verse 38, because of his testimony. Listen to verse 38. 
Verse 38. Yes. And Saul armed David with his armor, and he put an, an wait, helmet. Wait, wait, wait. Saul had to take his armor, his uniform, and put it on David. Did David ask for it? What happened? What, 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 what pushed Saul to do this? The testimonies. The testimonies. When, when, when David spoke, you don't understand the way you're looking at me. Do you understand what it meant for David to put on Saul? It's uniform. In the army, it, okay, let, 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 let me help you. Those who are in the army, you might not, uh, I might not go at it correctly. I'm a bank, I'm a finance person, so some of the things they just, in the army, you don't just get into the army and you go to fight with the army. You are supposed to be accepted. Okay? Or recruited. But there are ranks in the army. You understand? They are what? There are ranks in the army. Do you understand what this means? Saul was the commander in chief of the army. So, Nyembe Zabo had the Fanane, Nedema Lieutenant. When you are the commander in chief, you are not asked questions. So for, for David to be, to be allowed to go and fight Goliath, he needed to break protocol. He was coming as a civilian, but he did not start as a lieutenant. Neither, in other words, he jumped the lieutenant level. He jumped protocol. He jumped the level of captain. He jumped the level of colonel. Colonel. He jumped the level of Commander, you know, general commander, the general. He, so all those generals, commanders, the, the captains, they could not ask him. Because from no way, because of his testimony, his testimony caused him to jump protocol. He moved from a civilian to be the commander in chief. You don't understand. He moved from being a civilian because for him to go and fight, he needed to be incorporated in the army. But he wasn't incorporated. If, was, if he was given a uniform of a lieutenant, the, 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 the captains would say, But because of his testimony, he charmed protocol from a civilian to be a commander-in-chief. That's why, because everyone saw him. I see David, because the Bible says he tried this. So it means that they were looking at him, walking around, putting on the what? The uniform of the commander in chief. So no one would dare ask him, where are you going? Or what are you doing? Because they saw him in uniform, your commander in chief. So I say to you, this was prophetic. And I say to somebody that is listening to me today, you will jump protocol. At your workplace, you will jump protocol. In your finances. There is an anointing and impartation that is coming to the sons and daughters of this house. By the grace of the Lord, you will jump protocols. By the grace of the Lord. I know people follow things gradually. It's okay when things are normal. But your testimony will take you to dimensions where you never thought you will get there. All of a sudden, you will get a phone call and they say, Ah, oh, we are looking for you. And you say, who is this? When you hear the name of the person, you almost want to collapse. How did they know my name? If I had time, I would have prophesied longer. But let me not prophesy longer. And after David had put on the, the uniform, 
he put it off. But did you know, your boss, whether in uniform or not, he is your boss. Ask those in the army. Hallelujah. When you meet your boss, even if your boss visits you in your house with your children and, and, and wife, you salute him. You stand up to salute your boss in your own house. So the, <laughs> I pray for somebody that is here. I sense like your season of being saluted has finally arrived. I am Ayakaya. Your season of being celebrated has finally arrived. Hallelujah. You are jumping protocol. Ah, can you stand up? Can you stand up? Can you stand up? And just, ah, can you stand up and be prophetic? And say somebody, I'm jumping protocol, man. Two verses testimony. Ah, I thought I thought you would be I thought you would prophesy. Even with one leg and just say, ah, 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 I'm jumping protocol. Even with three, ah, I'm jumping pro I'm jumping systems. I am ah just talk to somebody that is next to you. I say, I said it, I said it, I said it. Hallelujah. I said it. I said it, I said it in my spirit. I used to be a thousand dollar boy, but I would jump figures, waking up in the morning, and I'm now a billionaire. People say, I knew him. We were together at school. We worked together. No, something happened through my testimony. That's the power of testimonies. Hey, my God. Guys, give me about, okay, I still have about 15 minutes. I need to prophesy now. I need to prophesy now. I need to prophesy now. You, you are jumping protocol. You are jumping protocol. So, ah, if you didn't know, some of us, that's what we did. We jumped protocol. Hallelujah. From industry site, we landed in Robert Mkabe, 102. <laughs> you guys should come where we started. You, you will understand what we are talking about. When you are looking at this building and we say it's ours, ah, people say, how did you make it? How do you explain people for that? We, people from Ziligans came here and bought this. Some were still renting here. Look at your neighbor. <laughs> you don't understand. You don't understand. I prophesy over your life. My daughter, you might have delayed getting married, but you jump protocol. You jump protocol. When people see you walking with your husband, they'll be coming and say to you, is this your boss? And you don't answer. You don't just turn around and kiss him. And kiss him. And you start walking. I can't answer such kind of questions. I'm talking to my sons. You jump protocol in marriage. Some people will think you are driving your boss, Bella, and say, ah, oh, so this, is this your boss you are driving? When it is actually Mrs. Uh, Mr. Nothing. And you just come out as Mr. Nothing, and you just go and kiss her and say, oh, sweetheart, oh, no, the way you cook, see you in case the way you are cooking, for them to know. You jump the protocol. Give your neighbor a high five and say, I sent it in my spirit. I sent it in my spirit that I'm about to jump protocol. Some people will begin to, they will preach about your testimony. And other people will come back to God when they are. Hey. Hallelujah. Do I have wealth wait in the house? They will talk about your bad testimony. We have been silent, it's enough. We have been quiet, it's enough. It's the right time we begin to tell the world. Hallelujah. Ah, let me prophesy. This verse, I, I want to prophesy. I want to prophesy now. Mandoria, Kaya, Mahasiaka. When I look at you, Vele, Kuku Fanele, when you to testify, Kuku Fanele, you will to testify. We are born in Emmanuel's weapon. It's a man, a law, sis, and a law. You will be able to tell you, I mean, Primary school. Ega brother Samuel. Mandoria Kataya Hase. Ah, when I be come with I, come with the Falcon. What you die, Minangafunda? Equalo Primary school. Hallelujah. 
Pepe From the lion, the same God who saved you from the bear, He will save you from Goliath. I don't know who's trying to be the Goliath of your life. Listen to verse, verse 38. Verse 38. And Saul armed David with his armor, and he put an sorry, helmet. sorry, jump, jump. 43 to 46. Verse 43. And the Philistine said unto David, I am, am I a dog? Ah. Ah, but thou stop, stop. comest. Sorry, start in verse 42, where he say, he saw his handsomeness. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him, and he was but a youth and a ruddy, and of a fair countenance. No, King James Vision, yes, clear. His handsomeness, you know, fair. If fair, it's between, you know, yeah. Let me talk to the devil this afternoon. Don't be deceived by our looks. Don't be deceived by our stature. Don't be deceived by our background. Don't be deceived about our color. We come in the name of Jesus. Verse hey. 41. Yes. So the Philistine came and began drawing near David. Ah, yes. And the man who bore the shield went before him. Hey. He looked at David over and saw that he was only a boy, hey. ruddy and handsome. And he despised him. Therefore, you're in trouble. The young boys in this place, they will bring you down. The young girls in this place, they will bring you down. Therefore, you're in trouble. Who said that is I'm shy? Since I'm shy, I'm a weak. The local eyelashes. Israel. Hey, I want to prophesy to sons and daughters of the house. Our story is beginning now. I was early my Akata. Ah, Ebo. Read it. Verse 42. And he looked over and saw that he was only a boy. Yes. Ruddy and handsome, yes. and he despised him. Yes. So the Philistine said to David, Am I a dog yes. that you come to me with sticks? Yes. And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. Yes. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, 
I will give you your flesh to the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. Yes. Verse number 45. And David said to the Philistines. Listen to me. David knows the power of the word. We are Philistine, he has spoken. But David knew, I have to speak back. In the battle of the spirit, word is fought against the word. Altar fights against the altar. Seed fights against the seed. When words are coming against you, you don't keep quiet. You are too silent for your safety. You are supposed to stand up and say, Nyamazu Jesu, Oavetelez Pamba. Verse 45, and David said to the Philistine, you come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin, yes. but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, yes. the God of the armies of Israel, hey. whom you have defied. Hey. I want young people who say to the devil, I come to you in the name of the Lord, Jehovah of wars. Hallelujah. I don't know what you are facing. It might be barrenness. It might be financial challenges. It might be sickness. But I come to you in the name of Jehovah. You see, there was something about David. He was prophetic. I have no time about this. I'll preach it when I, I have a youth service. If you read about David, he only carried Jesus. The five stones, they represented his name. The five stones, they represented the rocks. Hallelujah. He is the rock of ages. Hallelujah. Let, let, let's move very fast. So he's using a word against him, who is also Jesus. If you don't know, a sling. A sling, a kaya ga ilungi swang and jambo, ilungi swang and moza. In Mozaleziana, they represented the tree on which Jesus was crucified on. That's why he said, I come to you in the name of the Lord. Because Jesus was given a name that is above every other name. That at the mention of the name of Jesus, every name must bow. That's why when Goliath was hit, he did not fall he did not fall backwards. He had to fall via his knees. Because according to the word of the Lord, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Now, where is my tennis ball? I want to prophesy now. I hear the Lord say, I'm, I'm, I'm finished preaching. Hallelujah. Exactly three minutes past one, I'll be done from here. I hear the Lord say, Hallelujah. He's, in this season, there is an outpouring of testimonies of rebounding. And restoration. People who have been brought, thrown down to the bottom of the pit, spiritually, financially, socially, in marriage, in health, due to the resurrection power of the whole, the, the resurrection power of Christ. The Bible says, if the power that raised Jesus from the dead, that power comes upon you, the same power shall cause you. Hallelujah. I don't know, does it bounce here? It does. Hallelujah. So the Holy Spirit told me, hallelujah, that there are many people that are in this place today due to the resurrection power. When the devil hits you down, you are coming back again. Well, there is a rebound that is coming in your spirit in the name of Jesus. Jesus. For years, the devil says, you got you, you can't pray, you can't rise up, but I come today, and the spirit of the Lord is saying, there is a spirit of restoration, there is a spirit of rebound. you down, the higher you go. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Hey! Hey! Somebody spiritually, you are coming up. I prophesy over your life. I prophesy over your ministry. I... Oh.
they can keep you down. No, even Jesus, they buried him after three days. He was up. 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 Resurrection power. Resurrection power. Resurrection glory. I prophesy. Woo!
our mother to pray. Let's just clap our hands and thank the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor because it belongs to you. Father, we thank you for your presence. We thank you for touching us. We thank you, Lord, for allowing your angels to move over this place. We thank you for the anointing that you have poured over us. We thank you, Lord, for the rebounding anointing. We thank you for the restoration anointing. We thank you for the resurrection anointing upon our lives. In the name of Jesus, we refuse to give up today. We refuse to stay down. We refuse to be limited. We refuse to be brought to be pulled backwards. We refuse to be pulled downwards. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, that you are a God who moves us from one level of glory to another. We arise today. We arise today. We move to the next level. We move to the next level of glory in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for restoring us. Thank you for raising us up in the name of Jesus. What the enemy meant to hurt us, what the enemy meant to kill us, Lord, you have turned it around for our good. You have turned it around for our promotion. We thank you, Lord. Today we are jumping protocol in the name of Jesus. No matter what level we are, we thank you, Lord, that you are taking us up in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you even for the season of testimonies that we are in. Of Jesus, Holy Spirit, to open our mouths, give us Lord boldness to say our testimonies, even if they are short, even if we think they are little, even if we think they are embarrassing. But Lord, give us the boldness to open our mouths and say our testimonies so that they can open our do doors in the, to the next level. Father, we thank you, we give you all the glory and honor. We thank you for the blood of Jesus that is speaking for us in the name of Jesus. We seal every testimony with the blood of Jesus. We say no testimony will be reversed in this house in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you even for the man of God who has ministered to us. Continue to bless him. Continue to fill his cup. Continue to overcome with him with the power of the Most High. In the name of Jesus, we speak a hedge of fire around him. May you protect him in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We pray, Lord, that each and every one of us continues to be purified in our hearts in the name of Jesus. Whatever we do, may we be sincere in the name of Jesus. May we do everything to your glory. Father, we thank you, giving you back all the glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.